Uh, I guess regarding all of this, uh, it, it was, because I was a bit on and off uh, with this project from the beginning. This started when I asked um, uh, a friend in common uh, if he had anything that I could do, because at the time I, I had just graduated university mm. and I had absolutely nothing to do. I was going to be desperate, <laughs> so I went up to him and asked, you know anything, any project in which I can participate in? And this is how I met Thomas. And then. Through the whole process, I, I helped out in, I guess, in several Different parts areas. of yeah production. And what what in Portuguese we would call the bombay, which is like a fireman. So whenever there's a fire, you know, I had to go there <laughs> <laughs> to the best of my ability, you know, put it out. So you know, so this went from everything from you know just holding the boom to taking background photography to you know when Sam wasn't there, I had to do some of the shots. <laughs> screen out some of them, <laughs> but uh, it was a uh, it was a you know a fun process, and whenever I could help out Thomas with the doing something or or sometimes even just knowledge, because that that was one thing I appreciated about him. He really just wanted to learn how to do it. It wasn't like he would say, hey, you know, here's this, you know, do this for me. Sometimes he would really just want to know how to learn to do it himself, so he could apply it later. You know, some little things sometimes, I, right now I was always smiling with the sound because I think that was the last thing I helped yeah, you yeah. on. Like that little uh, telephone uh, sound effect. Mm. And I remember us being like in Google chat and you're emailing me the sound samples and I'm like converting them and you're like, okay, this is okay, but just one more thing. And I'm thinking at the time, like, huh, for God's sakes. <laughs> but, you know, you see it in the movie and it, those, yeah. you know, those little changes in timing, you know, make a very big difference. Mm -hmm. uh, on the delivery. You know, overall, uh, I've, I've had very little experience in films before. I helped out a friend in the very end of his production that, uh, you know, turned out okay. Uh, and this, you know, it was, it was fun helping out more in this, and, you know, seeing the result, which in my opinion is good. Mm -hmm. Especially knowing what it took and, you know, the resources available. Yeah, I just want to add that, um, you know, uh, Thomas was really pushing to try to shoot a lot of scenes just around Macau, and I think, you know, I, I think, you know, Australians, they think of Macau as well as, you know, this, you know, beautiful, enormous casinos, and, and Thomas was really pushing to try to shoot it, you know, in the, out, outside of that, and I think it is a, a, a sort of aspect of Macau that we don't really get a chance to see very often, and it was really, I just had a great time just running around with, with Thomas and the, and the rest of the cast, just, Going into those really dodgy alleyways and uh, <laughs> just just beautiful colours and uh, it was uh, I had a I had a great time over those eighteen days. Any plans for that city, like uh, broadcasting? Or? I know we're talking to cinema right now about screening it again. Mm. So um, yeah, we are talking. Anywhere about. else? Festivals elsewhere? I'm going to send it out to festivals. Uh, yeah, I'll just continue to send out the festivals and hope for the best, I guess, yeah. So, uh, any projects for all of you currently? Uh, like, what, what projects are you doing? For all of us? Yeah. To be honest, I just, I just relocated back to Singapore. Oh. And it was yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I'm back now, so I'll be here and I'll start to make films, hopefully set in Singapore. I want to be the inside voice, mm. I feel. But for this show, I was the outside voice, and sometimes I, yeah, I feel like being the inside voice, so that's why I come back. Mm. And uh, I'll create a few small projects. I, I, I was, I'm, I'm starting to do, I, like I said, I filmed three, I, I shot three short films already, and it is in post-production right now. So it's all a learning curve for me. I jumped into the fire doing a feature before I did any shots, because that's my character. I've been doing that over the past 10 years in different decisions I make in my life, and repeats itself here and so yeah it's a self-discovery process and um, I'm back I'll, 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 I'll continue to myself. Um, I work for uh, Macau uh, TV uh, to hold some uh, beauty program and, uh, and some share some uh, how to make a beauty and, um, and something like that. Sorry the question is... <laughs> <laughs> what projects are you uh, in currently. 
uh, I'm doing theater now and uh, being able to be in a good movie it's always my dream and this is what I'm going on doing yeah acting Thank you. Um, I'm currently in post-production on a uh, independent film called Red Light Revolution about the adult stores in Beijing it's a comedy and the uh, script was nominated at the uh, Inside Film Awards in Australia in 2008. And, uh, I'm uh, doing some freelance writing work for a local Macau newspaper. Uh, I'm doing some photography work as well. Uh, and uh, I might this year uh, help out a friend do like a, a short film, something that he's working on. But it's still very personal, so it's very under wraps. Uh, and, uh, Personally, I have no plans for a film career, so. Smart <laughs> 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 Questions? Yeah. Uh, sorry, a serious film career director. I understand that you're trying to push for local cinema shows in this film. But uh, Singapore has this a very strict policy on, uh, well, you know, um, Chinese and Cantonese and, you know, Hokkien. They must push a certain number, uh, let's say a certain percentage of Chinese before they can actually show. If the Singapore government demands that you redact the film into Chinese, or would you accept it and dub it over before showing it? Hmm, I've never thought about it before. <laughs> um, I don't know. I the immediate thing that comes into my head is that I probably would. So and maybe I don't know. Hopefully, it solves some sound problems. <laughs> <laughs> well. I cannot, I, I, I cannot answer clearly right now because it's the, it's the first time I'm, I'm, I'm entertaining the question, I'm, I'm receiving the question. And um, I'm just going like one step at a time, so I guess my our spirits are only like right here at this stage of the whole process. I guess there's still some way to go before we get distribution and all that hopefully. That's all the time we have for today, just like to thank Tablet Nicholas and his crew.